Hey students, Mrs. Trujillo here to give you an overview of what distance learning will look like in English 7 Honors. The slides presentation that I'm using is available to you on Google Classroom underneath distance learning resources. So what I'd like you to do very quickly is go ahead and pause the video and read over the distance learning norms that you see on your screen. The first thing that we'll be going over are the um, use of the different online platforms that we'll be using in English 7 Honors. So I'm going to show you how to access the document that I'm going to be highlighting or going over. Um, to get to the document that we're about to go over, you're going to go to Google Classroom. You're going to click on Classwork up here at the top, and then you'll see that Google Classroom is separated by topics. Distance learning resources is what we're going to be looking at, and you'll see a copy of the Google Slides presentation that I'm using, so you have that available to you. Um, and then the document that I'm going to be using um, in just a moment is the online platform syllabus. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video and open it up on your own, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, I'm going to have a copy of the document open on my screen so you can just follow along with me here. So what this document is, um, is a, a, it's a table that outlines the different online platforms that we're going to be using in English 7 Honors along with how they're going to be used in English. So I just wanted to make sure that I was very transparent about the different online platforms that you'll be accessing um, and you know how they're going to be used in English. So the first thing that I'd like to point out are my office hours. So office hours are going to be held on Mondays and Wednesdays via Zoom from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. So Zoom meeting links and passwords will be posted on Google Classroom. And if you have a question about any of the assignments outlined in your weeks at a glance, please submit that question using this Google form so I can address it during my office hours. So there's a direct link here that you click on and um, enter a question that you would like addressed during my office hours. So I'll be showing you in a separate video how to use your weeks at a glance. So there will be a separate video showing you what your weeks at a glance is and then how to use it. And again, Zoom meeting office hour links will be um, posted on Google Classroom. So if you'll look here on Google Classroom, you'll see that there's a topic that says office hours link and password. And then you'll see the date for the office hours along with the link and the password you use to access that. All right, so the first online platform that I'm going to review with you is Synergy. So Synergy will be used for, um, you know, roughly the same reasons that we use uh, Synergy, you know, when we aren't doing distance learning, and that is to send me messages um, as well as receive messages from me. Um, also, Synergy will be used for posting assignment grades. The next online platform that um, I'm going to go over is Google Classroom. So here's how Google Classroom is going to work. Um, with regards to distance learning. So Google Classroom, um, I, the first thing I wanna make sure I highlight is that I will be posting a week at a glance Google Doc each Friday on Google Classroom that outlines the lessons, all the lessons and activities that will be due the following week. So the week at a glance doc will contain all assignment instructions um, or steps for completion, all due dates and or links to instructional videos explaining how to complete an activity. So that's just a brief overview of what the week at a glance is. Again, I'll be posting a separate video that um, gives you a detailed overview of what the weeks at a glance is and how to use it. The next online platform that I'd like to review with you that we'll be using, using in English is StudySync. So this one's really important because all of the assignments that you will be completing, um, as well as assessments, will be completed through StudySync um, and turned in through StudySync. So you won't be turning anything in through Google Classroom. You'll be using StudySync to turn everything in. If you forgot how to get to StudySync, I've put a link here to a video showing you how to get to StudySync through your EGUSD portal. The next online platform that we'll be using, using in English is Zoom. Zoom will be used for office hours and it is accessible through your EGUSD portal. Um, again, office hours are Mondays and Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to 11. And then again, links to Zoom meetings along with the password will be posted on Google Classroom. It says the night before office hours. Sometimes I might post them um, you know, a couple days before. Just make sure you're paying attention to the date um, that is posted along with the link and password. So if you want to take a moment to pause the video and read over what office hours will be used for, you may do that. And, okay. 
All right. So we'll be going over again more um, office hour stuff during our first office hours session. Um, but right now what I'm going to go over is class classwork, due dates, and grades. So assignment due dates, um, very important. Work, all work will be due on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So your weeks at a glance posted on Google Classroom will indicate which assignments are due on which days. Early submissions are welcome and late work will be scored down. So if it's one day late, the most you can hope to earn is half credit. Two or more days late, I won't accept the assignment. It will be a zero. And then finally, how to contact me. So right now, the best way to contact me is through Synergy email or directly through my um, EGUSD email address. Um, if you have a question that you need answered right away, that's the best way to contact me. If you have a question that you um, have about, if you have a question about an assignment, I'd prefer that you wait until office hours to get that question addressed just in case other students have the same question. I'd like them to benefit from hearing that answer. And then any questions, uh, those questions can be submitted through the English 7 Honors tutoring questions form, which again is accessible through this link here on the use of online platforms um, handout. Any other questions that you have, please feel free to email me. Thank you.